Thank you very much, everyone, and thank you so much for coming down. The real reason that we're all here, though, is to raise money for children in need. It's an absolutely fantastic organisation, and you all being here means that you've all bought tickets and we've already raised loads of money, so thank you so much for, for coming on down. We've got three really brave couples who have... Uh, willingly and perhaps a little bit foolishly bared the soul of their relationship to me and for your entertainment this afternoon. <clears throat> There's going to be two rounds to the show. First we'll see what um, our couples know about each other and then later on we'll find out what they think about each other. <clears throat> to score points there's no other catch their answers just need to match and points mean prizes and we've got a great prize so everyone let's welcome our first couple please give a big warm capital one welcome to leon and michaela ruby Welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself to the crowd, for those who don't know you? I'm now Ruby. I'm an anti-money laundering. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm an anti-money laundering, peace liaison investigator, part of the legal and compliance team, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you did it. <laughs> I'm Michaela Ruby. Um, I'm complaints and I work in complaints resolution. Brilliant. Let's find out a bit more about you guys. <laughs> but you were the temp, was it? Yeah, yeah started um, in 2013. Yeah, I'm here with the temp. Yeah. She rolled in, blonde hair, blue eyes at the time. <laughs> it was so Hello. blue eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted my number, didn't you? So you managed to get that. Um, that was the start. Um, and then, yeah, we went for a drink and it just kind of went from there, really. Yeah, just got on really well. And, started dating. We've been together three years, um, but we now live together, we're married, got two dogs. Um, so yeah. She's a very kind person. She likes to be centre of attention. <laughs> so this is perfect for doing something like this. <laughs> Leon's funny. I'd say that's probably one of the main things that attracted me to him. Um, I can be having a really bad day and he'll make me laugh. Um, he's not too bad on the eye either, which helps. Um, yeah, it's probably quite lazy, but then I like kind of being in control of everything, so it kind of works. Um, but yeah, I think he's not done too bad. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really see each other too often. It's just nice knowing she's there and contactable if I need to contact her for any reason. Yeah. She's only a, an IM message away. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we'll be alright, but... I am yeah. freestyling as well, we've not practised no answers. <laughs> We've not been sharing each other's questions, straight freestyling. Mm -hmm. So when we win, we're going to win fairly. Yeah. Great, guys. OK, so Michaela, you are going to be the first to mm -hmm. take the throne. And we're going to cut you off with some lovely love songs down uh, my iPhone, downloaded specially today, and an eye mask. And Leon, if I can ask you to step up to the plinth. OK, so what, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is ask you Three questions. They're all going to be multiple choice, and the choices have been set by uh, by, by Michaela. Uh, once you've answered the questions, we're going to bring Michaela back. If uh, she is able to guess the answer that you've gone for, you'll score a point. That's fine. Okay. So your first question is: What is Michaela's most annoying habit? Is it number one? She always asks uh, asks to share your food. Is it number two? It uh, makes you jump by hiding around the house. Or is it number three, spends too much time on Facebook? Now, before you jump in with your answer, <laughs> let's just have a, a chat about some of those, uh, some of those options. Is it, true, is it true that you don't like to share your food? That irritates me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you're, you're particularly opposed to getting like a sharing platter or anything like that when you go to a pub. You like to have your own My meal. Own bit, yeah, so yeah. I can't share, so that's the main thing. I get that, yeah. I get that. <laughs> what about uh, making a jump around the house? Her and my daughter, both at it. Scares me, scares the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Irritating. <laughs> on a uh, scale of one to ten, how, how manly are the, the screens I've screened, that you I've screened you know? once properly, yeah. 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 Dumb yeah. Over. Like a girl, I've got it right here. <laughs> 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 uh, and thirdly, it's, um, it's right that you're not on Facebook. Nope. You, don't, you don't have the Facebook, so you don't, 
get to see anything, any of the content that, uh, that Michaela. So, so you don't get to see pictures like this that, uh, <laughs> that, that, that she uploads. <laughs> So th those are your three options. Which uh, which oh, would you like to go for is Michaela's most annoying habit. That's that, that's a tough selection. <laughs> what would want my sock? My sock's only worked really well. Um, I heard you drunk two bottles of wine before that. Was that's because of last England match. <laughs> was, yeah. Good um, reason then. I'll go for A. We'll go for A. Let yeah. me write that down. <clears throat> okay. So your second question is: If your house was on fire. What is the one thing, apart from you, that Michaela would save? The dogs. So your options are... <laughs> <laughs> her phone. She might need to put it on Facebook. Um, her makeup bag. Or... You're right, the dogs. The dogs, definitely the dogs. The Normally Benja, the first dog. Yeah. She loves him the most. Yeah. She not even tell me. She's written here, I would probably save them before Leon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great, okay, and your final question is, with your permission, which celebrity would Michaela go on a date with? So is it Jason Statham, Anthony Joshua, or Charlie Hunnam? Um, it's either going to be Anthony Joshua, or is it say Charlie Hunnam? Yeah. I'm going to go with Anthony Joshua, because I know she follows him on Twitter. Okay. Business. Good choice. He looks a bit like you, doesn't he? <laughs> Yeah. Great, let's bring Michaela back. Do you want to go and tap her shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> what, what were you listening to? Uh, Lady in Red. Brilliant. Great choice. Great choice. Is <laughs> that like your playlist? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've had it a while. <laughs> Okay, so Michaela, you know the questions that, Mich that, that Leon's just, uh, just answered, but you now need to match which option he went for. Okay. So just to remind you, your, uh, which um, are your most annoying habits? So we had the sharing food option, we had the making him jump around the house, or we had the spend too much time on Facebook, we have just shared the picture as well. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> you can talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> so which option do you think um, I would say the Facebook, because he's always telling me to get off my phone. Oh. What are you doing on Facebook? Oh, yeah. He went for always oh. asking to share food. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It was a tough selection. <laughs> um, so, if your house was on fire, what's the thing that, uh, apart from him, that, uh, that you would save? Um, you said your phone, uh, your makeup bag, or the dogs. What do you think Leon went for? The dogs. The dogs is the right question. They're the right answer. Well done. And finally, you chose three hunky men that you could go on a date with, um, which was Jason Statham, Anthony Joshua, or Charlie Hunnam. Who do you think Leon would give you permission to go on a date with? Well, none of them. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say the third one. Charlie Hunnam. Yeah. Oh, no. It was Anthony Joshua. <laughs> well done, though. You scored one point. Well. Big round of applause. <clears throat> OK, so now it's time to swap you over. Leon, if you take the hot seat, hopefully you'll have the power of love. <laughs> so, your first question. What is Leon most likely to get in trouble for? <laughs> It's fine. It's, it's a complex operation. <laughs> and with her. <laughs> that, was, that was almost cheating. Uh, what is Leon most likely to get in trouble for after a few drinks? Is it A, being sick? Is it B, breaking something? Or is it three, disappearing? Um... Do you want to just tell us about any of those answers? Because I know that... There yeah, was a bit so of a Leon has a tendency when he's drunk to just be sick wherever he is. Um, most of the time it's in the bath. Yeah, I hate which, that. you know, yeah. the toilet's right there. Yeah. It's a bit annoying. Um, breaking stuff. Um, yeah, he broke the um, handle off the back door yeah, when he was drunk. He thought it would open from him just putting a bit more force into it. So, yeah, now it's broke. Um, 
and disappearing. I don't know if he's disappeared. He's probably no. gone home every now and again when he's had an us. But <laughs> okay. um, I would say breaking stuff. Okay, yeah. so number two, breaking stuff. Your next question. What causes the most drama at home? Is it A, leaving empty toilet rolls on the holder? Is it two, Michaela encouraging the dogs into bed? <laughs> or is it number three, soaking the bathroom floor? I'd say B. B, letting yeah. the dogs into bed? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if I could, they'd be in the bed and lay on a bit out the bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and finally, which of the following would you change about Leon? That he'd do more housework, that he'd get rid of the Chinese symbol tattoo that he has at the top of his arm, that he'd do all of the dog walking, not just 99% of it, <laughs> or, I think there was a bit of sarcasm in the answer. Yeah. Then. Or is it his parents? <laughs> Definitely his parents. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't pick your in-laws, can you? <laughs> <laughs> he did admit to me that he does have embarrassing parents. So do I. So uh, I, I, I understand that. Great. Let's. Uh, Let's bring Leon back. <laughs> Welcome back, Leon. Thank you. Did you have a, a good moment? Power of love? I ain't got a clue what no. it was from the same. Shows you've got better taste in music than me. <laughs> OK, so Michaela's just answered uh, the questions that you set for her. I'll quickly remind you of them. Um, what are you most likely to get into trouble for after a few drinks? So you said being sick and we heard all about the bathtub incident, breaking something, we know about the back door, and then also the occasional disappearing act if you're a bit fed up. Which one do you think she went for? It's either the bath or the door. I know the door's to the source object. Oh. Um, it is when I got locked out when I was putting the washing out yeah. one day. <laughs> <laughs> when the wind blew it short and I was... <laughs> Leon was doing overtime, so I was just sat in the garden and loving life. Got yeah. some vile text messages that day, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. So, what are you going to go for? I, I, I think we know what you're going to go for, actually. <laughs> You don't like the bath thing, though, do you? <laughs> no, but you will normally wash it away. If yeah, you I'm not touching the toilet. Oh, no, we'll go with the door, because she's, she's still pissed off. Right? Well done, you've got a match. <laughs> <laughs> so your second question was, what causes the most drama at home? Is it empty, um, not changing the toilet roll? Is it encouraging the dogs into bed or soaking the bathroom floor? The dogs. The dogs, you've got a match. Well done. <laughs> Great. And finally, which of the following might she want to change about you? That you do more housework, the Chinese symbol tattoo, that you do more dog walking, or your parents? What do you think she went for? <laughs> and if it's not just a parent, I think it's the whole family. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say that bit. It's because we're all women. We're just... No one's good enough for me. That's what uh, it okay, I get it. I get <laughs> it. Yeah, they're definitely the family parents. parents well done. You Thank get you. a full, full round. Well done. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Well done, guys. You can you. Uh, leave the Thank stage. You. Okay, so our next willing victims are Tim and Tash Norris. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, guys. First of all, we've just got to have a moment. I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up on camera, but we have matching trainers. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> OK, would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh, yeah, I'm Tim. I'm a quality engineer or a tester, and I'm in the tech department. Hi, I'm Tash. I'm a security consultant in ISRM. Great, let's find out a little bit more about you guys. We met um, at an interview. We were both part of a larger group interview. I don't actually remember seeing yeah. Tim. So Tash doesn't <laughs> really remember that much of it. I remember thinking, my friends talking about Tim and said, oh, he's a really nice guy. And I was like, really? He never, ever speaks to me. And I was like, I've heard he's really nice and really friendly, but I don't think he's ever said two words. Yeah, it was definitely a uh, case of uh, schoolyard 
So, you know, oh, I fancy her, I can't talk to her. Tasha's always a, a joker, she definitely keeps me young. Um, super, super kind, open with people, but yeah, bit, of a, bit annoying sometimes. No, only, only a little bit. <laughs> Look at that response. Tim is always hungry and never the right temperature. So often it's just kind of chilling in the evening, watching TV, movies, that sort of stuff, playing games. Um, Tash crocheting, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 it does work. I think you can work together and be together as well. Yeah. And not have it something where work life spills too much into home life and vice versa. So keeping that divide. So we're really competitive. We um, are really competitive. Uh, yeah, Tasha's super, super competitive. Oh yeah, so that's a, that's a challenge. So, you might so if I get the questions yeah. wrong, then you don't, you, don't, you don't have anything to fear, I do. Uh, that's probably our abiding message, isn't it? <laughs> we will win. <laughs> right. Some brilliant tush, um, uh, tush talk, trash talk <laughs> from Tash. Tash talk. Please, uh, Tash, you're taking the, uh, the seat first. Step up to the blimp, that's brave, blindfolded. <laughs> okay, so we know the score now, so I'll crack straight on. Uh, your first question is, what is the meanest prank you have <laughs> ever played on each other? Oh, okay. Is it number one, Tash pretending she'd be late for your wedding? And you genuinely believing it. Yeah. Uh, is it second, you dressing up as horror movie characters and pouncing on her whilst watching the film? Yep. Or is it Tash pretending to get electrocuted? <laughs> Do you want to elaborate on any of those um, questions? Tell us a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, so they're kind of, there's, there's a theme there. So um, my answer is definitely C. Uh, <laughs> so we'd not been dating for very long and uh, I'd left the headlights on on my car. So we went, walked, went back to the car, battery flat, um, Tash was helping us jumpstart it, puts the cables in, and I, I squeal, whatever, I don't even remember. Um, so my way of getting back at her after that was we were watching one of her favourite scary movies, um, and I, uh, I organised a mask beforehand, and I went off to the toilet, put it on, came up, snuck up behind her, did a really scary voice. Um, we'd been drinking a bit, and she was quite ill afterwards. Um, so, uh, yeah, and, you know, I'm sure every bride jokes about being late for the, late for the wedding, but uh, she wasn't-ish. But yeah, C, definitely. So it's C. Great. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> right, so question two. What is the most annoying thing that drunk Tim does? <sighs> I know what this one is already. <laughs> is it one, order lots of drinks at the bar, call you over, and just as it's time to pay, walk off? <laughs> is it two, Make Tash watch the same six episodes of Futurama back to back because you can't remember what's happened. Or is it number three, get you both kicked out of a taxi on the way home? The drinks thing. We yeah, need to, yeah, we there's need definitely. To talk about that. Uh, so they're all basically when I've had too much to drink. Um, but yeah, I don't remember most of those things happening, um, which probably says all you need to know. Um, yeah, the first one I actually did twice on the same evening. Once to Tash, I think it was a bottle of Prosecco and some tequila shots, yeah. apparently. Um, and then I said, like, Tash, Tash, come over, and then just left. Uh, so she had to pay for those. And I did it again for, I don't think he's it, can't see if he's in here, but Matt, yeah, there he is, Matt Nixon at the back. Uh, about an hour later, I think. Um, then, um, I can't even remember what the second one was. It's definitely not that. So the, the, the six episodes of Future Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we were very, very drunk. And I was like, oh, this episode is so good. We watched it, wasn't paying attention, watched it again, it, again and again and again. Um, but, yeah, then the same night with the not paying for drinks, um, I was a little bit worse for wear. So we got an Uber. Tash made the foolish decision of putting it under her account so they knew who she was. Um, and then I think we lasted about 30 seconds until we all, as a group, decided that I should get out. Um, <laughs> It was definitely a group decision and not him telling us to leave. Uh, so I'm going to go with that one because yeah. it was an, a mile and a half walk back. It took us over two hours. Right. Ooh, that's, that's a long way. <laughs> I'm never going drinking with you. <laughs> Apparently, I'm hilarious. Uh, uh, your third question is, what is likely to cause the strongest emotional reaction? Is it, firstly, playing Destiny Online? I've heard you've got some quite ripe language. Yeah, definitely while, some anger issues there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, is it finding Table Mountain in South Africa closed whilst on holiday? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Or is it watching Marley and Me? Oh, they're all so bad. Um, they're all very different reactions as well, so I think you need to... Well, I don't to... know, tears in all of them. Um, <laughs> uh, probably Table Mountain. Um, so just be yeah, so we'd spent... It was probably about eight or nine days in South Africa at this point. Um, and I'd had the, the engagement ring with me the whole time through all the airports and all that stuff. And I was like, it's all right, we're going to Table Mountain at the end. It'll be amazing. I'll wait for that moment. Um, so as we arrive in um, Cape Town, oh, it's closed. Awesome. Uh, next day, closed. Awesome. Um, at which point I'm replaying all the moments I could have done it. And it would have been probably quite nice. Um, so then uh, I think it was like the second day they opened it in the afternoon. It was still quite windy. It was really cold. It wasn't very pleasant. But I dragged Tash up there. Um, and I was probably not very nice to be, with, be around. Until the question, of course, you know, because I'm sure that was awfully romantic. Uh, so yeah, probably that one, Table Mountain, I reckon. That's Great. Good. Great. Fantastic. Right, well, let's see, uh, let's see what Tash thinks about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to beat me out soon. <laughs> what greatest love hit did you have? That was The Power of Love. It's dead <laughs> cheesy. Great. It's having great. a great time. OK, so you know the questions <laughs> has answered about you. Um, so let's, let's, let's crack on. So the first question was uh, about pranks that you play <laughs> on each other. <laughs> Uh, to remind you of the options, we have uh, that you uh, pretended that you'd be genuinely late for the wedding, uh, uh, dressing up as a horror movie character <laughs> and jumping out on you during the film, or you pretending to get electrocuted by the car. <laughs> that was a good one. Which do you think Tim went for? Uh, probably him pretending to be the horror character. Oh no. no, he went for the electrocution. Oh yeah, that was good. <laughs> I think the horror movie was in revenge for yeah. the electrocution yeah. though, so so almost. <laughs> um, your, the second question was uh, about Drunk Tim. So Drunk Tim is a liability. <laughs> um, the options were that he'll order lots of drinks at the bar and walk off when it's time to pay. Um, he'll make you watch the same six episodes of Futurama, yeah. back to back or that it'll get you and your lovely friends kicked out of the taxi on the way home. Yeah. What do you think See, he thinks is the most annoying thing? Definitely the last one. He made us walk two miles <laughs> up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> the time just increased. It's a match, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, uh, Tim's strong emotional reactions to uh, various things that he, uh, that, that, that he does. Um, so there's playing Destiny Online, <laughs> there's Table Mountain being closed when he was going to propose, and then it's watching Marley and Me. What do you think he went for? We did cry a lot with Marley and Me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll watch it and not cry. I heard there's a collection of films that you were uh, great down to, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Why have you been saying? <laughs> uh, um, Table Mountain, you did freak out massively. Yeah. <laughs> well done, you've got a match. <laughs> I don't know. Right, let's swap you over. Your first question. What is Tim's absolute favourite meal? Is it one pizza, <laughs> two burger, or three steak? He's put a little bit of a comment about kind of his, his eating <laughs> habits in general. And actually, you've told me about Tim's eating habits as well. So do you want to tell us a little bit about um, that? So if I ever go to the US at work, Tim's meals will be pizza, 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 pasta, burger, 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 pizza. Like, but that would be lunch and dinner in the same day. He'll just have, it's just not very well put together. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard on holiday he really likes to go for it as well. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. Great. Which do you think Tim went for? Pizza. Well, yeah. Pizza, so number one. Great. Good choice. Question two. Why couldn't Tim be a vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> one, bacon. Quite simply, bacon. Is it number two, he doesn't really do salad? Or is it three, and apologies to our uh, vegetarians in the audience today, they're all a bunch of hippies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just quickly refer back to pizza um, and the he doesn't really do salad. I hear that uh, 
Tim will occasionally make changes to his pizza toppings to get in some of his five a day. I'm assuming that's changing to healthier options. No, no, he'll actively remove vegetables and add more meat to right. every option. <laughs> yeah. He's been known to like remove lettuce and tomato from a burger to add more burgers <laughs> to his burger. <laughs> Goodness me, that man has a heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for bacon. Bacon? Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. <clears throat> OK, and your final question. What is Tim's favourite sport? Is it football? Is it tennis? Or, not sure they feature this in the Olympics, but PlayStation? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have a quick talk about football to start off with. Um, is Tim perhaps a little bit accident prone when he goes out to play football? Yeah, I think he's broken his arm, his foot. He genuinely will go and play football and come back with some kind of ailment of some kind. Once he broke his, like, a bone in his foot and had to spend two weeks at home and just spent it playing PlayStation for like two <laughs> solid weeks. Um, Great. And I believe you go and play tennis together from time to time. Yeah, we have done, yeah. I don't think he, he's not as good at that, though. Like, he would watch <laughs> football and play football, but he would only really watch tennis. But when he really does try to play tennis, <laughs> you know, tries hard to, to, you know, be tactical about it. I don't like it. No. You don't like it. No. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you, do you tell him off? Yeah, I have hissy fits on the court and then I walk off. Because <laughs> he does drop shots and it's really mean. So I get really angry and I just walk off court. And I just <laughs> yeah. This is why uh, couples should never do that type of no. thing. <laughs> okay, so football, tennis, or PlayStation? Uh, oh, it's really hard. I'm going to go with tennis. Tennis, okay. Despite you telling him off, you think that'll be his favourite yeah, sport? Yeah, he does Fair like enough. it. Great, let's bring him back. Give him a tap for me. Love changes everything. Indeed. <laughs> it does. It's true. It might change something today. <laughs> <laughs> right, Tim. So you know these questions already, but just to remind you. Your favourite meals? Pizza, burger or steak? Lots of healthy options there. Oh, of course. What do you think Tash thought that was your I favorite? hope it's pizza. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'd eat it every meal. Pizza? Maybe not, maybe not breakfast, but yeah. Great. You've got a match. Well done. <laughs> You can apologise in a minute to all the vegetarians in the audience, no, calling them hippies. I, I just won't. <laughs> <laughs> so why couldn't you be a vegetarian, Tim? Is it bacon? Is it because you don't do salad? Or is it because vegetarians are hippies? While I do say the last one a lot, it is bacon. It's bacon, definitely bacon. Bacon it is. You've got another match. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and then finally, your favourite sport. So we've heard about your... Uh, Ability to be very accident prone during football. Yeah. We've heard about lovers' tiffs during tennis, <laughs> yeah. and then we've also yeah. heard about PlayStation yeah. as well, which uh, anger, know, that, just that, that, that really big team sport that you all see on the telly. Uh, what do you think Tosh went for? <laughs> no, no, probably PlayStation. Um, I'm going to go football. Football. Yeah. It's not a match. She went for tennis. Oh, okay. Mm. Interesting. I thought she thought I was so lazy to go for PlayStation. Yeah. But well done. At the end of that round, you scored loads of points. So uh, yeah. we'll uh, see you again right. later. Thank you. OK, and so to conclude the end of round one, please welcome our final couple, which is Barry and Danielle Gilding. <laughs> welcome, guys. Right. <laughs> Please introduce yourself to our crowd. I'm Danielle Gilding. I work for the UK Big Business Office. God talk. Uh, <laughs> doing controls testing. Uh, Barry Gilding, uh, external supply manager in PPI. Great. Let's find out a bit more about you guys. <laughs> First thing I noticed more than anything, um, three things. Uh, <laughs> the eyes, <laughs> these big brown eyes, uh, the smile, um, the bum. <laughs> <laughs> Got our first house in what, 2002? Yes. Got married in 2004. Um, and then uh, we got two cats then. 
We did because have I didn't want cats. I didn't want children at that time. No. So we've got two cats. We agreed uh, on cats. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But then finally agreed to children. Yep, so we've got two kids now. Um, Abigail okay. 10 and Lewis 7. Yeah. Um, and then in the last year, we've got our first puppy oh. as well. Yes. <laughs> new addition to the family. <laughs> Been together for 18 years, so how can he not be my best friend? Probably knows me the best inside and out. Um, well, we'll soon see us. Well, yeah. probably, yeah. <laughs> she, she's more, the more organised one out of both of us. So I just kind of go with the flow, but she likes a plan uh, for absolutely <laughs> everything. So we probably complement each other quite well. Um, I suppose we actually to grab a coffee at work is yeah. probably the highlight. That's like, yeah, date night is literally <laughs> grabbing a coffee at work. So. <laughs> At the coffee bar. <laughs> it's better than dancing, I suppose. Yeah, we can't dance. No. Can't dance at all. So Mr. and Mrs. probably is a little bit more yep. up our street. I suppose it'll either work out if we do know each other really well or, or if we're headed for divorce. <gasps> <laughs> we won't head for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Big round of applause, please. <laughs> I won't be paying for marriage counselling out of the community <laughs> budget. That's not what it's for, OK? <laughs> Great, right. Well, Danielle, you are going to be first with the headphones. So uh, let's give you a second to, to get ready. Excellent. Pitch black darkness behind that. Right, Barry, step up to the plinth. So Danielle knows the questions that you're going to be answering and the Anna has set options. So uh, like I said, there's no catch, you've just got a match. She has been trying to cheat all day as well. It's terrible. Trying to get clues, naughty, yeah. naughty. Okay, so what was the best date that you ever went on? I know you've been uh, married a very long time, but uh, if you cast your mind back. Coffee bar this morning. <laughs> <laughs> was it when you first met at MGM? Is it uh, when you went to the cinema to see Species 2, which apparently was your choice? <laughs> Or is it a trip to the local for uh, a good old quiz night? Mm. Is there any yeah. of those that you want to elaborate on? Or tell us about when you first met. Uh, we first met at school. You first met at school? OK. Yeah. Um, but we first got together. <laughs> she clearly didn't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we first got together when, was a, when it was MGM. That's how long ago it was. Right. Um, yeah. Met over at Liberty's, and then we kind of ended up at MGM. Cool. So we get, we're going back some years now. Yep, Don't laugh, the, you can remember. None of, none of those places exist <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, so, and the cinema, Species 2. Yeah, Species 2, it was probably the only film that was on at the time. I thought it'd be good to go and watch a horror movie because that way she'd get quite close. She'd snuggle in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> on to a winner then. Nice, nice. <laughs> and, uh, and, and quiz night at the local. Yep, yeah, um, so we always used to go uh, with mates to uh, our local for quiz nights. Um, cool. Just box and stuff. I'd go for a B. You're going to go for B, so the cinema, species two, great. OK, so your second question. What do you spend the most time arguing about? How many options did you give? <laughs> Just three. <laughs> Is it not loading the dishwasher and leaving pots in the sink? Is it laundry or is it... Uh, your lack of organising skills, mm. which we've just had a reference <laughs> to on the film, actually. Um, let's talk about the dishwasher for a second. Well, the dishwasher's more her than me. Yeah? Um, yeah, she can't stack it to save her life. OK. Uh, annoys the hell out of me. So, like, plates sideways. Oh, ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. Stuff yeah. poking through. Bottom stuff row is probably, like, around. two plates, and that's it. You can't fit anything else in. Uh, and she doesn't rinse them either, so it's just food at the bottom. The uh, dog nice. loves it every time I open that dishwasher. <laughs> She's there heading. Tasty, <laughs> tasty. Um, and laundry? Laundry. Uh, the only thing I wash are sports gear. Um, so anything that involves other colours, I ain't got a clue. So I'll avoid at all costs. And your lack of organising skills. Yeah. I've heard that Danielle's a bit of a spreadsheet fan. You're just a kind of a go with the flow. She's got everything on the calendar. Um, right. Absolutely everything. Where we are at any given time. Um, she's literally got every football match listed and the venue on a calendar that our little lad's got for the next three months. So. Wow. It's sad, quite, it's quite sad, it's really. Quite, it's yeah. quite impressive. Yeah. Quite impressive. It gets in there. So, which do you think it is? C. C, the, the lack of organising yep. skills. Okay. And finally, if you were a celebrity couple, who might you be? 
Posh and Books, <coughs> Louise and Jamie Redknapp, or is it Lois Lane and Superman? <laughs> Let's just talk about this for a second. So, Danielle's quite keen on David Beckham, I hear. Bit of a teen crush, and she wanted to be a Spice Girl. Were you aware of that? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> now you are, my friend. But definitely um, not Posh Spice, but that way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do any of those couples mean anything to you? Um, probably Jamie and Louise Redknapp. She's got a massive crush on Jamie Redknapp, so <laughs> okay. I'd say that one. Yeah, OK, let's go, with, uh, let's go with B, and let's bring Daniel back. <laughs> <laughs> we need to change that playlist. <laughs> what did you get? Lady in Red. <laughs> There is a loop. Barry, come back. No, not yet. <laughs> you can tell he doesn't plan. <laughs> I need to see if I'm oh, yeah. I want to listen to Lady in Red. You're prepared at least. Yeah. OK. <laughs> so, Danielle, Barry's been answering the questions that, uh, that, that we set for him and the options that you gave. First was about the best date that you ever went on. Your options were when you got together at MGM, uh, when you went to the cinema to see Species 2 or a trip to the local to do the quiz night? What do you think you went for? Oh, it's going with Species 2. Yeah, trip to the cinema? Yeah. You got a match, well yeah. done. <laughs> I can't believe you said that was our best date. Our best date, watch a crap Just movie. Just how much you actually... <laughs> OK, question two. <laughs> question two was about arguing. So, uh, <laughs> what causes the most... Um, what do you spend the most time arguing about? Is it not loading the dishwasher? Is it the laundry, or is it Barry's lack of organise, uh, organisational skills? Organisation skills. skills. Yeah? Organisation skills. Hands down? He has none. <laughs> that makes it a match. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and the third question was about um, your, uh, the, uh, the celebrity couple that, that you might like to be. You went for Posh and Bex, Louise and Jamie Redknapp, or Lois Lane and Superman, because he's your hero. That's really sweet. <laughs> Who do you think Barry went for? I'm going to go Lois Lane and Clark. Oh, behave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a match. Sorry, Daniel. But well done. You got two out of three. Jamie <laughs> Redknapp. Oh, because he's nice. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. <That's my> <laughs> well, he's ready, so we can just crack on. Oh. OK, Daniel. Your first question. What are, Barry, what are Barry's pet hates about you? Is it your inability to stack the dishwasher that we've just heard all about? Is it that you leave everything out after making lunch or dinner? Or is it that you leave dirty washing on the bathroom floor? <gasps> <laughs> no! <laughs> I have no background to that one, so maybe it's a lie. <laughs> Such a lie. <laughs> what would you guys choose? <laughs> the dishwasher, making a mess in the kitchen, or dirty clothes. It always goes floor. on at the dishwasher. Always. Yeah. Is there any right way to stack a dishwasher? Yes. Really? <laughs> right, right, <she> goes. <laughs> Shall we go with A then? I think yeah. so. Clearly, cool. I'm getting it wrong. Mm. <laughs> OK, so, another picture. Who is Barry's celebrity crush? Is it, <laughs> is it Margot Robbie, is it Megan Fox, or is it Gal Gadot? I don't know. I didn't really know who any of these people were, <laughs> surprisingly. I clearly don't listen if we're at the cinema. Hmm? Who do you reckon? I think the one in the middle looks quite like you, so... I don't think you'll go for someone like me, though. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go for Megan Fox. Yeah. OK, Megan Fox mm. it is. Ooh. I really okay. need to pay more interest. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Well, he should have changed that question. <laughs> and question three. <clears throat> if Barry could take anything onto a desert island, what might it be? Is it his phone and headphones? Is it the dog? Or is it a lifetime supply of chicken? Ooh. I hear that chicken is, is his favourite food and he could eat it all day long. Yeah, Baz just constantly eats chicken. Every meal's chicken. Okay. 
every single meal. I can guarantee it's always chicken. His dog, that's his pride and joy at the moment. That's the only thing he focuses on. That's the only thing he can organise, is around the dog. I hear that apparently nobody matters now that we have Luna. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. OK. The dog takes priority. And then but then he, he always annoys me with his music. I'm going to say his music. You should give him my playlist. <laughs> no, it's bad enough as it is. <laughs> I have to deal with that every morning. Uh, music. Yeah. The music. It is between the dog and the music. Great. Music. Give him a tap and let's bring him back. <laughs> Barry. Hello. You know the score. So, your pet hates about Danielle. <laughs> again, we hear about. <laughs> again, we hear about the dishwasher. We hear about making a mess in the kitchen and then leaving, or allegedly leaving, dirty washing <laughs> on the bathroom floor. You do? No. Your gym gear no. all the time. Let's with the underwear it. and the trousers still. No. <laughs> <laughs> Take this uh, backstage in a minute. What would you like to go for, Barry? Uh, dishwasher. The dishwasher. Well done, you've got a match. I think this is the right way to cut the dishwasher. <laughs> right, your celebrity crush. You went for uh, Margot Robbie, Megan Fox, and Gal Gadot. Who do you think, Danielle? Megan Fox. Well done. Ah! Well done. That's a fluke. <laughs> Helps if I write down the right answers. <laughs> um, and finally, um, you're marooned on a desert island. You can only take one thing with you. Is it your phone and headphones? Is it the dog, the lovely Luna? Or is it a lifetime supply of chicken? Um, so it would have been my headphones until we got the dog. Uh, oh, go no, the dog. Nothing matters now that you've got no, Luna. No, not at all. <laughs> so it's the dog. So you're going for the dog? Yeah. I did say it was either the dog or your music. It's not a match, but well done. You've scored loads of points. Big round of applause. See you in a bit, guys. <laughs> OK, guys, so that is the end of round one. And now, we're, now we've seen how much our couples know about each other, let's see what they think about each other. Please welcome back to the stage Team Ruby. OK, guys, so I've got a series of questions for you. Just hold up the bat, blue for the boy, green for the girl. If you get a match, you score a point. So firstly, who is the messiest? <laughs> <laughs> Not a match. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most romantic? It's a match! <laughs> Who wastes the most money? Oh, no match. <laughs> Who is the cleverest? <laughs> you got a match? <laughs> Who is the boss? <laughs> we'll clear this one safe, I think. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no match. <laughs> and finally, who works the hardest? <laughs> <laughs> safe bet since you're in work. Uh, it's not a match, though. Not a match Big either. round of applause for Team Ruby. <clears throat> Please welcome back to the stage, Team Norris. <laughs> Who was the best at DIY? <laughs> That's not what I've heard, Tim. <laughs> uh, Who was the best cook? <laughs> well done, it's a match. <laughs> Who was the most stubborn? <laughs> <laughs> Who cried first on your wedding day? <laughs> Again, not what I heard. <laughs> and the most. Yeah. Who is the funniest? <laughs> well done, you got a match. Who has the most important job? <laughs> yeah, you got a match. Well done. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. That's the end of your panel round. Please welcome back Team Gilding. OK. Who is the best singer? <laughs> 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 
It's a man. <laughs> Whose parents are the most fun? <laughs> <laughs> Who has the best taste in music? Yeah, another match. Who is the best driver? <laughs> I think we know this. Who is the most laid back? <laughs> And finally, who is the first to talk about work at home? <laughs> All right, well done, guys. Please take a seat. We're coming towards the end of the show, and uh, I thought before we'd invite our couples back on stage, we'll just uh, quickly uh, find out how much today is raised, and you know we'll be raising more throughout the week as well. So hopefully. I have a slide with a total on it. So our grand total that we've raised so far today is brilliant. Huge round of applause for you guys. Thank you. This figure will get doubled uh, through the pound for pound um, uh, scheme that, that we offer here as well. So that's almost two grand already that we've raised for children in need. And we'll, uh, throughout the week, uh, see what else we can do to, to uh, add to that as well. So thank you so much for, for, for your generosity. Anyway, I've got the winning envelope. I know who the winning couples are. A couple is. So, shall we bring, <laughs> shall we bring all three couples back onto the stage? <laughs> I can announce that the winning Capital One couple and winner of the beautiful Mr. and Mrs. Carriage <laughs> Clock is. Barry and Danielle. <laughs> there you go. And you get your own Mr. and Mrs. board game to play at home. The kids all want to play this. As do the other couples as well. <laughs> I can't thank these guys enough because they've just been bombarded with emails uh, from me for the last few weeks. And like I said earlier, they've really uh, uh, bared the soul of their relationship to me, <laughs> to you guys, all for a great cause. So a massive round of applause for our Capital One couples. <laughs> And that just leaves me to say thank you to you guys for coming. I really, really appreciate you taking an hour out of your working day to come down and support. So, uh, so thanks very much, and we'll see you again soon.